journey. What a guy, all of you. Drink some trouble and ting and ting, you know. And there goes uh, Scotland. He running forgot out. to record, running out. More from on the scene here and ting, you know. <laughs> straight, right now. straight from Virginia, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Scotland is back. Hi. How are you all doing this evening and ting, you know? We're on 88.1 FM, the cutting edge on your radio dial. Also, you can get us on www.marshall.edu slash WMUL, and of course, we live again on Facebook on the Rude Boys Facebook page. Yep. Yes, I am taking so well go on with all you. <laughs> <What's> going on? <laughs> well, huh? there's more for us here. My guest there, my, my brethren guest here, tell us what's going on with you. It's been 10 years since it's you've been, been back here. It's been 11. It's been 11. 11. Well, December of 08, so. It's been 11 ish. <laughs> <I'm> rounding up. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude, he doesn't look, I still look like he's uh, 18. I get that a lot, actually. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. surprising. I get that, and I get a total look like Bill Murray and Blake Shelton. So now I introduce myself to some people as Bill Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> do you sing country and do comedy no. at the same time? <laughs> he'll, do, he'll do comedy. I'll do but, com uh, I'll do yeah, comedy. definitely not the uh, country part. No. No. I get that. It has, it has to be half. Self-deprecating. No, no, well, no. You guys good. are from the South. How come you like country music? <laughs> Mom's from New York. Dad's from Illinois. I grew up on classic rock and the blues. No, man, no. I grew up on classic rock. Uh, a little bit of country, but I resisted the urge to even have anything to do with it. And then a whole lot of Motown. Oh. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, my dad. Surprisingly, my dad played a lot of Motown growing up. Oh, wow. He's not completely useless. <laughs> How's it going? He he's, said it. He's not watching. Listen, my dad and I have a weird relationship. If I'm not making fun of him, he thinks he's like probably going to die or something. Hey, look, Alexis Williamson is on the scene. What's going on, Alexis? Well, I remember even one time uh, another That's person. That's how I show who, another, Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say another person who thought that you didn't like them because you didn't talk to them much. I was like, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, because you, because you ripped on them. That was it. They said... I don't think he likes. I don't think he likes me because he rips on me all the time. We're like, who was this? A certain person that you church, and John and I both looked at her and said, he rips on us all the time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I have to warn people now. I, I tell my, the word I say starts with an A and ends with a hole. I'm like, I'm a little bit of that. Yeah. I mean, it's in my name. I can't help it. So it's like, if I'm giving you a hard time or I'm ripping on you, it means I like you. If I'm not talking to yeah. you, then I'm, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, I try to tell people that if I'm teasing you, because I yeah. tease a lot, that yeah. means, you know, hey, you know, you're cool people. If I yeah. just walk by you and look at you, then, you know... Hey, That's not a good thing. No. No, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh... I can't even read that. Yeah, I, 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 the name. I see. Out. I saw Williamson. I only know one Williamson here. So that's yeah. Alexis. Did you see the other one? Right there? That's what Alexis that? too. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was trying to figure out. Like the last two times oh. you guys did this on Facebook, I was like, why do they keep looking in? I was like, oh, we're seeing you. So you're trying yeah. to see the comments. Why don't you have that pulled up on your phone? Come on, guys, be professional. <laughs> well, that's yeah, just you know, right there. Um, while taking it's my going. cue, I'm an invited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've known that. Since she that little, uh, let me not say little girl, this young lady, since she was 16 years old, she played you know basketball. Many, you know how many people you said that about? I know, man. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. Since they were about, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? I had people come up to me and say, you know, my my that my, my father. <laughs> really? Okay. You know? No, it's when they say, uh, you know, my mother, though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. 
<laughs> are you sure? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you sure? Please put in some context to that statement. Yeah. <laughs> I may have a little Irish in me with a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, man. So, so how is the weather down there? Is it crazy like here? Yeah. Down there, where we're from, is farther north than here. Really? Yeah. So it's up there? Down there, up there. It doesn't matter. Well, I thought, well, I, well, well if you kind of say from south, I'm thinking down there in the dirty south, you know? It's essentially still south of the uh, Mason-Dixon line, but West Virginia is also supposed to be essentially north of the Mason-Dixon line, but... Most of it is actually south of it. Okay, my American friends, what is this Mason Dixon line you speak That was of? the whole dividing line. Yeah, the yeah. imaginary line for the Confederacy. The oh, kind of like uh, that Korean thing, the uh, 30th yeah. parallel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But see, that they actually use as a legitimate measurement. The 38th parallel is a real thing. The Mason the Dixon globe, line, they went. You cross that <laughs> line. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> you cross yeah, that line. Probably, I, we ain't gonna beat you. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be war. <laughs> You're never gonna wreck and see what's coming. <laughs> We're in trouble again. <laughs> <Not to me. laughs> well, yeah, I'm leaving man. tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. They can't do nothing to me. <laughs> So there's only one person here. He's still young. <laughs> but yeah, man. I don't know. So, so what's been going on, man? He was up to, to boast about something Some here and there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they won this weekend. It was great. Uh, took the series against Louisiana Tech, which was big because uh, Tech came in as a top team. You get wrapped around your chair again? Yeah, you're bit. having all kinds of problems with your microphone cord over there. I'm telling you, this is the third time he's been wrapped up already. Okay. We just got in here now. Okay, you guys going to see my bum a little bit. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, watch out, watch out. Oh no, oh no, FCC's coming. I'm going to come calling now on Facebook Live. No FCC monitoring the internet. Our, our viewership just skyrocketed. What no, smart uh, you guys have on the <laughs> What kind of website are we live on? What did I sign up for? I'm just kidding to see anything anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, it was, it was Hold a good... on. Your mom is on there. Uh-oh. So is Jennifer Taylor Lucas. What's up, my sister? How are you doing? There we go. People to work with. Um, but anyway, so big weekend. Uh, they lost the first game 10-8, to 8, but they but they played well. A little bit of a pitching meltdown late, but, you know, Tech's got some really good hitters. But uh, Hayden Ellis, oh, big weekend, big weekend for Hayden, man. She she had two home runs in her career. She hit three yesterday. She hit three yesterday. You always say you love home runs. Man, we've hit almost 50 this year, and you haven't seen any of them. Whoa, 50? Yeah, almost 50. We might break our team record. That was set when Folden was here. Oh wow! Oh yeah, oh yeah. We we hit uh, we hit five yesterday. We got uh, one more today, <clears throat> so six over the weekend. But we won game two, smashed them in game two, ten to two. You know, Hayden hit her third home run. Rue hit a home run. Hannah hit a grand slam to end the game. And then today, it was Emily Cooper Day, uh, where we gave out the Warrior Award, which went to Hayden. So it was almost kind of perfect the day that she had yesterday to then get the Warrior Award. Cooper's parents were in town for it, so were a bunch of her family members. We get ahead of Tech 4 nothing, then they come back, they get up 5-4, then they get up 6-4. We come back, bottom of the seventh. Hannah leads off, smacks the home runs. So now we're down by one. Rue gets a double. Then uh, Armani uh, grounds out, moves Rue to third. Then Allie Harrell gets intentionally walked. Then Maya gets walked, so we got bases loaded. Blakely comes up, burns the right fielder out to the fence. Two runs come in to score. Game over. Walk off. <laughs> He's excited. I am still excited, He's man. Still that excited. was big. That was big. So that was a lot of fun to call on on uh, on herd vision too. I'm really glad I got to do that this weekend. So, hey Jennifer. So that was that was a blast. Was that my sister? <laughs> yeah. Hello, sister. Um, okay, I have a bone to pick. How come she gets spirit fingers and I just get a hate mail for her? <laughs> Next time, I want spirit fingers. <laughs> also, what Tommy Matty is on there. Hey, Tommy, one boy, I'm brother. No, but that was, that was big. That was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, 
it was good too just to have that on Cooper on Emily Cooper Day. You don't want to take a loss with that going on too. So that was no, that was big. It was great. Loved yeah, it. Lo- loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Did I say I loved it? When is your next home series? Well, we've got another home game on Tuesday against Louisville at three, and then the next home series is the <laughs> the uh, regular season finale when Florida Atlanta comes in May fourth and fifth. Okay. Okay. So. I'll see if I could Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, because I have a vacation coming up in May. I'm hoping I can breathe by then. Yeah. I am struggling. All you allergy sufferers. Oh. It feels your pain. Well, I, I, I used to say, hey, Mom, thanks for the bad eyes and the allergies. <laughs> He's blaming you on Hey, she, yeah, she knows. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. Actually, every time I do this, she goes, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but, no, I mean, this year's been really bad. Because usually whenever I've had the one really bad day, it ends up being just that day. Man, this has gone on for like five now. Remember when we did the podcast the other day yeah, and I always said yeah. it only lasts for a day? I think Spring said, <laughs> Yeah. Got one for you. Punch you in the nose. Oh, they did, man. I'm telling you. I Okay. Since I got to do the game for the live stream, they've got that little cough button. Should have been a sniffle button for me because I abused that thing the last three days. I had to keep punching that so I could and then yeah. get back on air. I'm sorry, folks. I had to do that for the effect. But I mean, oh, it was bad. So bad. So this microphone is not wanting to agree with me right now. It keeps raising it. I have to punch you in the nose. I, I, see, yeah, maybe, it's not. I don't know. Maybe this thing's related to springtime allergies. It wants to punch me in the nose. <laughs> and then you just type him on there. Oh, hey, Kyan. <laughs> Kyan or Sawyer, I don't know which it's one it is. Okay. It says, hey, Uncle Scott. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, the last time I saw him, he was just a tight. Yeah. That was, uh, I think he was maybe three. Wow. Yeah, when, when, when you came back to Virginia with me, I think he was three. I was about to say, none of us here have kids, but... <laughs> Little does he forget. <laughs> Although he's not really a kid anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got. He doesn't have a kid. He's got an adult. Yeah, exactly. Although you know, Anthony told us a good one last night. We were hanging out with him, and uh, so he's so he's got two little girls and now a little boy on the way. But he said one time when he was visiting his parents, one of his little girls had some candy, and he said, "I thought I told you you couldn't have candy before dinner or whatever." And she said, "Well, uh, what was it, Papa?" Yeah. Yeah. She's like, well, Papa said I could have it. Well, I told you could. Well, Papa said I could, and Papa also said he's still your boss. <laughs> I said, Anthony, is that your dad? And he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah technically. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, when I used to work at Toys, you know how many grandparents come in there, and they head straight for the section with the drum sets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Payback. Hey, yeah, because you don't have to listen to it. It's great. You know what I mean? And I'm like, man, and they would be giggling too. You know, oh, like, yeah. like they, they're back in high school. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't wait to see my daughter and my son's face when I deliver this one. I don't so, have any, so, Daddy, look what I got. I, I, I don't have any kids. I got three nieces and a nephew, and especially my sister's kids, man. I just go over there, rile them up, and I'm like, all right, got to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, you deal with that. So when you're buying Kyan as drum set. <laughs> <laughs> It's already in the mail. Good, uh, no. It's in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm the boring uncle. I bought him National Geographic for kids. Although he loves it, though. He loves yeah. it, so. <laughs> what do you buy for your nieces and nephews? Uh, last year, I think I won Christmas because I got my niece who just turned 15. Wait, is she 14? <laughs> She's in eighth grade. I don't remember. The other one's eighth grade is like either thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, the other one's ten and it's five foot five. And my mom's just like, this is not going to end well. Yeah, your mom's about what? Five, my two, mom's five, three. No, my mom's five foot like one. Oh, yeah, I gave her a couple inches. No, so she's like now the shortest person in my family again. No, I won. I won because I got her LED lights that she could put in a room that are controlled by the Wi-Fi, and she can use her phone to. Oh, okay. I got both of them that. And so they, they like that. And I got pictures when they finally put them up. You're so cool. Thank you. I was like, oh, uh, yes. he's a cool uncle. Yes. <laughs> Not me, man. I made up for my terrible gift to my brother. <laughs> I don't think I bought anything from nieces and nephews. <laughs> they live too far. I was going to say, well, and I mean, okay, we got to see them. What was that? 
uh, was that over the summer when they came in? Uh, the summer before. I swear it was last summer. No, nah, it was really? the summer before. Dude. It's been over a year? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't look at me. I didn't realize I hadn't been here in 10 years. So. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 I am not a good teller of the time. Thursday, he gets out of the car. He goes, dude, how long has it been since I've been here? I said, December 08. He goes, whoa. <laughs> I thought, man, uh, well, some things have changed. There's a lot more uh, uh, disheveled people stumbling around the city. Honestly, I'm definitely able to remember when you came because of a certain event that happened. Yes. We're and, not going to talk about that. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it happened, but let's just say it involved a senior on the team and I remember when she was a senior so I remember when that was. Oh okay. So that was a really <laughs> funny wake up call. I was like what? It was. Why? It was. <laughs> oh. Sorry folks we can't explain okay. that but he definitely gave me a very puzzled look because he didn't then uh, like where did that come from? Yeah that's probably the most half asleep puzzled look I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you, <laughs> like, you you look like the cartoon character rubbing your eyes like <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about either. So we'll you, 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 later. you do. You do. We'll remind yeah, you. Yeah, you do. Yeah, oh. you do. Why are people getting stuff? <laughs> happens. Anyway, yeah, man. How long did it take you to remember my name? And yeah. then you didn't remember the fact that you were the one who gave me the nickname Slick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, what is your name? <laughs> Scotland. Oh. <laughs> I, I forget names pretty bad. Oh, Dang yeah. it, I was going to go with Cleveland. Though, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm sticking now. Hey, Cleveland. <laughs> His name's Ireland. <laughs> I do have Irish in my family. Man, this dude is all mixed up. Irish, Scottish, Italian. English, I English, Scottish, Irish, Italian, German, Dutch. Because they're pretty sure. Exactly. Wow. And who knows if I do one of those DNA tests, I may find something else in there. I don't know. I'm terrified to do one of those. My aunts recently did one, so my my dad's family's kind of screwed up. And then my mom's family was kind of really screwed up. So my grandfather got adopted when he was like two. Oh. And so he was like, uh, he, he knew he was adopted because <clears throat> his uh, stepmother was not a very nice person. And she told him one day when he was 14 that if he didn't behave, they'd take him back to where they got him from. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's we more were, There's more messed up stories that I'm not going to repeat on the air. Return to sender. They're just, they're just morbid. So he found his sister when I was like in middle school. Well, since my aunts have been, I just snip all the hair together. So since I, my, I've been doing it for the last two days. Right. So now that my aunts have done that, they've, they're finding all this stuff. Well, one thing they found out, I don't think any of them are going to see this, so it's fine. Uh, growing up, they had this one family down the road, and they found out that this one little girl in this family is actually related to them because of one of their uncles. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So... There's been that, and then they found, so my grandfather never knew who his dad was, and they found, well, he found out his sister, who he thought was his half-sister, is his whole sister, and so there's that, and then they found a whole bunch of cousins and half-brothers, and he's been emailing the ones that are still alive, and, like, he's really excited about it. See, that ain't too different from me. Walking on the street one night, and this dude comes to me and says, I'm your brother. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, I don't remember that. Musso. Oh yeah, I was. We were walking from the city, and he was right by the uh, by the Regal Cinema in Tantig. I remember it was yesterday. And my other brother. No, oh, so this over. wasn't here. Nah, nah. Okay. Like, right. No, yeah, anybody yeah, yeah. talk to me and say that my brother here and say, "Dude, you, you lying." lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you African American. You couldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Pops traveled that far. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know. He just went to the islands. <laughs> no, but yeah, and, and, and well, then my brother you was say you had a bunch? <laughs> Half brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah, all over the place. Trinidad, Dominica, Barbados, St. Lucia. <laughs> my mom went to the island. Well, being a cop on the island means that you're kind of sort of like in the military. Uh, so when there's a riot back in one of the islands, they send Canadian cop there. That was back in the day. Gotcha. You know, and then they send them to here, and then they have a little riot going on and thing. So, you know, and then they go so for training. So he was training. taking advantage of the riots. Oh, yeah. So I remember during the, the, the invasion back home, <laughs> uh, intervention, uh, the Jamaican uh, soldiers were there, and they were trying to sleep with everything walking. I almost got into a scuffle with a couple of them because they were trying to talk to the niece, my niece, she's like 40, I was like, dude, 
what's wrong with you? I didn't say it that way. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> Next thing you know, he had his MC singing, like cradle in his hand like he's going to do something. I ain't going to say more than that. But we're going to leave that one alone. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. Dude, I've got family everywhere. And I, most of them I've never met, because I never really met my dad's family. They lived in other in Trinidad, most of them. I met one, he's got 14 brothers and sisters, and I met like one, two, three. That's one. Essie, Tita, and Farrell, that's the only three I met. Most of them, a lot of them left for England. You know what England did back in the day? England still came up to the island and said, we don't have enough people, we need workers. So they said, hop the boat, we're going to England. You know, this year they're trying to deport those people. Wow. <laughs> so that a lot of my family, like a lot of my dad's family went there. Mm. So I never met them. You know what I mean? That's one of them came back home. 21 years, dude. 21 years in England. Comes back home. The girl he was dating back in the day, dating somebody, so he beat the dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't come back home for 21 years. And he's like, whatever. You, 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 nope. should, you gotta wait. Right, but you gotta wait. <laughs> I'm gonna see if this is gonna work because you were kind of technically not even talking to. You're talking over here. The computer's over there, so I don't oh, think yeah. anybody over here is hearing you talk. Oh, oh. So I'm okay. just trying to move it, get a little, get a little closer here. So now Mofro's dead center. <laughs> Are we sure that's a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> just make the shot better. <laughs> so what else you been into? You're telling us about the Atlanta. Uh, oh, that was a couple of years ago, yeah. But um, that was no. that, that was that long a time ago. What? No, 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 no. He's well. He's thinking it happened when you were down there this summer, when you were talking oh. about going to those shows. Oh there. yeah, no, yeah. that was no, the shows we went to was in 2016. No, but I was yeah. down there for like two months looking for a job, and it didn't turn out well, obviously, because I'm still not living there. Did you like that thing? I love Atlanta. If I if I could up and move somewhere right now, we would be Atlanta. I love that. Like growing up near DC, I always thought big cities were awful. Yeah. DC is like this weird amalgamation of a transit city. So it's like a big city and people live there, but most people that work there drive in. So by five, six o'clock, everybody gets the heck out. Yeah. And so a lot of a lot of places are like ghost towns unless you know where to go. But uh, no, I love Atlanta. I have, my grandparents live south of it. I have family that live up north on my dad's side. I have second cousins and whatever on my mom's side of the family live all over. And then my friends live in, I have several friends that live in East Atlanta and I, I love that area. So no, I, I'd be down there in a heartbeat, which may still happen if things work out, but oh, I didn't tell you, we started a charity. Who's we? My, my friends, Derek and uh, Bess. Okay. And yeah, you told us, you told us one time when you was on here. Did Remember? I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but what is it? What is going on with it? So we we play video games, and my buddy Derek was like, "I'm gonna start streaming it." You know, he's like looking for. He's like, "Well," so we stream, it was stream on a site called Twitch.tv. So if you get enough viewers and jump through the right hoops, like they have, they give you a, a thing called um, it's not associate status, but it's like they partner with you. Is but that then there's Patreon? Like, no, it's not that. One. No. So there's a partnership and then there's affiliate affiliate status. It is called affiliate okay. status. So he's gotten all the steps. Well, we've helped him get all the steps through affiliate. And so we've been using it. Uh, last year we went down there and did a marathon stream, like 14 hours. We were playing board games on there and we raised about thousand dollars for the uh, kids hospitals in Atlanta. Yeah. This past time we went down there just last month and we raised 650 ish bucks for a charity called one up on cancer and they raise money and then they give it to families who need help paying medical bills. Oh, cool. And if they don't have the money, they try to point them to places that do or grants or yeah. other things. And so one of the things you get with affiliate status is a sub button where people can sub for five bucks or for four ninety nine a month, half the money goes to Twitch and half the money goes to us. Well, we were looking at just doing an LLC, but if we did that and the money came through us, it would wreck his taxes, his and his wife's taxes. Yeah. So he's like, well, let's look into a charity. Well, the LLC would wreck the taxes, so it costs a little more to get incorporated as business. Yeah. But he hired a lawyer. It's a little more cost up front, but there's more expandability yeah. and, and all sorts of things. So we've got that whole process rolling. 
Uh, I'm on the board of directors, which is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> but, I mean, hey. So I'm hoping, uh, so I, that's one of the other things I have to do. I have to look into like grants and stuff. And if I can get us enough like operational grant money, that may be my job is to help run the charity and schedule stuff and, you know, learn how to write grants and do all that stuff and look for different things to partner with. So this month and next month, we're actually raising money for St. Jude's through the end of the month. We don't know when the, we don't know if we're going to do a marathon stream or for, we're not exactly sure. So they have like events yeah. through St. Jude's, but. So, so what's the handle? So people who are. Uh, gonna... It is twitch.tv slash Reavers play. R-E-A-B-E-R-S P-L-A-Y. Well, you know what? You are an administrator on the Root Boys page. You could go in there and type in the stuff and see when the stuff that is That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about yeah. that the first time you guys <laughs> went live. And I was yeah. like, what's up, fellas? And it's and like, it's Root Boys saying, yeah. what's up, fellas? Yeah. Like, see, he's an administrator because in the beginning when we started this, we didn't know how to do it. So yeah. this guy over I there. didn't either. I just did it. And I was like, this has got to be right. <laughs> yeah, somehow you yeah. knew more than we did. So, so yeah, yeah, obviously yeah, the yeah, page got started. Root Boy team and thing. Yeah, honorary root boy. <laughs> no, 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 we don't do honorary. We do in the team. Oh, in the team. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, you could go in there and you know vibe it up because I know some people that that's on there that are my buddies and stuff. They like the Twitch stuff and you know they watch that stuff. So yeah. There you go, people. Some for you know a good cause. Yeah. You know what I mean and thing, which is what the root boy is all about. Mm -hmm. You know, showing the good but stuff. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> It's a good thing. Yeah. And Andy's been posting a bunch of good stuff on his uh, Facebook page. Yeah. The Rude Boys. He's been killing me with the food. I can't take it. Like, I see that. I was like, I don't even care what that is. That looks delicious. I want to eat. Hey, see? Yeah. When you come back home and visit with me, you're going to go to Marsh on eat. I, 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 will, I will eat till I die. <laughs> That's how I want to go out. I can't eat anymore. One more bite will kill me. Yeah, you're going to get the African, the South American, you're going to get the East Indian, you're going to get the West Indian, you're going to get it all. I, I will eat it all. Listen, I learned that I will eat almost anything when we were in Mexico. I was on a mission trip and we went to a Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, so good. I learned, I learned one key phrase, eat tocino, which means and bacon. Anything that's e tocino is delicious. Yeah, yeah. that bacon. Yeah, yeah. Even, that bacon even beef tongue. I eat beef tongue. If you'd have told me it was beef tongue, I'd have been like, I'll pass. But you just say whatever that is in Spanish, yeah. and then e tocino, I'm like, plate it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people eat uh, 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 pink tongue, too. You wrap it in bacon, I'll try it. <laughs> I, t I told you, people are putting, uh, didn't McDonald's or somebody have, a, oh, have right. an ice cream sundae with bacon in it? Did they? Somebody had it. They I remember seeing it advertised. Like, that doesn't oh, surprise disgusting. me. They're adding bacon to like the Big Mac and the Quarter Pounder. Get the bacon yeah, in the back. I'm like, yeah, but bacon on burgers makes sense to me. Bacon in your ice cream does not. Chocolate covered be uh, bacon. That's gross. Yeah. Again, like he, like like we were talking earlier. I like chocolate and I like bacon. Not necessarily I together. Much. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't try it because I don't eat bacon. And I, I don't really eat chocolate that much because, you know, I might overdose. You're, yeah, I was going to say, it's already chocolate. <laughs> a yellow kind of chocolate right now. <laughs> so maybe you do need to eat some more. <laughs> but you got to have that Grenadian chocolate. So that oh, you yeah. Know. You know what I mean? That's, that oomph chocolate, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not that uh, synthetic thing they do there. <laughs> but, yeah. That's kind of cool in charity thing, man. I yeah. like that. You know what I mean? The more people need to start doing that instead of like doing it and then getting the Ferrari and the Bugatti. And right. Have you noticed how people like front and stuff? With you? I, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I, I guess it's just because I'm, I'm too frugal. It's a nice way of saying I'm cheap. But <laughs> like I'm sitting there, if I'm, if I'm swimming in that much money, I'm not, I'm not buying a... Like I would, my biggest, like the biggest thing I would buy would probably be a Tesla just because I sat in one of those cars and those things are amazing. Yeah. And they're making a $35,000 version one, which is still not as cool as the SUV looking one. But I was like, that would be like the one thing I would. Yeah. Well, it's like, I've talked to him before when I was at his house with him and his dad, we were talking about lottery winners. And I was like, I'm still 50, 50 on whether I'd actually do it right. Or just Brewster's millions, the whole thing. Cause nothing good's ever comes from winning the lottery. On most yeah. people. It's like, you get cousins and aunts and uncles coming out of the woodwork. You see, the thing about it is... I remember you when you were this big. Well, I don't remember you. So well, I remember you not giving me any money. Therefore, you're not giving me. 
<laughs> I, I think people, when they win the lottery, if they are smart about it, they got to say no to some people. I mean, you, you got to say no to everybody. I, I, remember, I, mean, I remember my dad said one time, he goes, I would love to have that much money once just to see if it really does make you that stupid. <laughs> Not me. The first thing, I'm already I, stupid, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm screwed. screwed. If I was to win the lottery here, the first thing I'm going to do is move. <laughs> I'm yeah. you know I, I mean? I'd walk into work and say, sayonara. Yeah. Now, if I was in I, Grenada and I win the lottery there, I'm leaving Grenada. <laughs> I'll come back after about 10 years or so. You know, where the money? The money gone, but it's in, I still have it. You know? yeah. Money gone. No, don't ask for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Why do you think I came back? Yeah. I, I would Show say this. As far, as far as the car purchase with having that much money i'd i'm sorry i'd go back and find my galaxy again buy it give it to chip foos let him completely fix it back up for me because i can hey i could afford that then who cares if that car is not a collector's item it's mine yeah chip foos you have at it you do you do you know you and i'll you get together do. we'll plan this out you know i'll, I'll definitely have to get Type my dad in involved there, in that one what you all would do if you won the lottery What's the one thing you're all going to buy if please, you win the lottery? Please keep it clean. Type it in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, if it's not clean, it's not going to run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like Ben's comments that one time. That was, yeah. You know what I would build? <laughs> the one thing I would want? An underwater apartment. Yeah, you know, so there were the fish swimming around. I could sleep down there, you know, eat down there and watch everything. You know what I mean? In the ocean, that is. I'm not yeah. going to put it in a pool because there's no <laughs> fishes there. <laughs> but if I'm going to explode on anything, it's going to be something like that. Oh, build something in a, in a rainforest or something, you know, something like that. Make it, uh, what do they call it these days? Uh, energy efficient or whatever. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly and thing. Yeah. But something like that. I'm, I'm seven one. You see, I'm not going to spend a ton of money on a car. I don't like big houses. I hate big houses, yeah. even though I'm big. I mean, I mean, I want to make it tall, but it's not going to be no more than two bedrooms. I'm alone. I'm yeah. never going to get married again. So That's, that's a lot to clean, too. <laughs> At my height? <laughs> I got to bend down and clean all this stuff down here. Oh, I got to get up. Ja Rule is looking for a job. Right now. <laughs> 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 you throw a party, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fired. And please, none of those festivals in the Bahamas. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be like buying those fancy cars or nothing like that. I don't see the point in it. I told you I'd buy the Galaxy again. I'd, yeah. I'd, st I'd still keep my, uh, my grandpa's car that I have now. I'd still keep that. And I would just buy the Galaxy. Yeah. That's what I don't get either. I have one, but I need one car. Yeah, <laughs> I might splurge on a motorcycle, but even then, I'd probably buy a used one. That if I wrecked it, I'd be like, "Well, yeah. <laughs> lesson learned. I don't need one of those." I'll buy the most expensive bicycle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, my luck, they run me over and try to rob me. I, I think a lot of lottery winners just they just act really silly. What's that guy that was here, Whitaker? Man, that dude won the dude in West money. Virginia that blew through it real fast well, and then yeah. got in legal trouble after that. Well, he was rich before he got that, too. Mm. So how come he didn't know how to handle his money? You well, because I mean? there's only a certain amount of people that are hundreds of millions of dollars rich, though. That's and then true. when you get that load of money thrown at you, now suddenly it's, man, everything I ever wanted to do or wanted to buy, I can do now. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, you're going, man, why does my bank account say I only have $500 Yeah. Left? See, you know. that's what I'm gonna do too. Travel. I'll go everywhere. Oh yeah, that's a good call. I'm not gonna go in style, you know what I mean? But I do want to go to some of those places I put up on Facebook. Yeah. You know, so those. See, I would, are, yeah. I would still want to drive around this country first, and then yeah, go do that stuff. Because I would love to, whether I was using um, the car I have now, or if I wait till the galaxy's done, <laughs> dreaming. <laughs> um, but I would get. You know, I would definitely get a camper I can pull behind either one of them, you know, and take the dog with me. We, you know, hit the road, yeah. go drive around for a bit. I'd love to see how she would handle being around some of these other places. But see, just, I, go, just go drive around the country, stay in a campground and stuff. I would want to go stuff. out of this continent first. Well, no, no. For me first, I yeah. want to do. I totally you know, understand. Yeah. But I see you young. I'm old. I've got to get old there. <laughs> before You've already been out see, there a few see, times. The, the, the thing about it is, though, because then I could come back here and do it when I'm older. And I could, you know, travel around here. But it's going to be a lot more 
uh, street he has to travel all the all the, all the, all the, all the flying. You know Let's put it I mean? this way: I want to be able to do it when I'm when I'm when I can still definitely enjoy the driving of all. Yeah. Of it. Now that's why I would want to do that now because yeah. I want to drive it. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you could drive it even if you're like seventy. There's little seventy-year-old people. Know. Hey. <laughs> And my grandparents hey. just drove somewhere. He's eighty-five, and my grandmother's ninety. They still yeah. drive from Atlanta to to uh, Virginia, a couple times a year. Hey, my dad will still drive all over the country. Yeah, I think that's where I get it. Where I definitely get it from. I because I love driving. Yeah, I love I love to go for a drive. Yeah, I caught the traveling to other countries bug from mom because we would see. Go for me, I struggle a little bit with that just because. I don't know if I'm just getting worse with flights or if that surgery that I had have yeah. made, has made things worse. But lately, when I have to go on a flight, man, I can't stand it. Yeah. And if the flight's even just over two hours, and that's what makes me think, man, how would I ever get to Europe? Yeah. How would I get to some of these other places I would love to go well, to when they go, the flight today is going to be 15 hours. Yeah. Well, hopefully you won the lottery and you get one of those big seats that converts into a bed. Yeah. Because and then I take I'm not as tall as Andy, but I'm not a small guy. And I remember when I was going to Mexico for that mission trip, I got stuck between two 300-pound dudes. And I'm in the middle seat. And I'm just like, what did I do to deserve this? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what, I mean? what fresh hell am I in right now? Because it was like. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think there's anything new up there yet. I uh, yeah, well, when I was coming here, I got on that plane. I was just like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was it was really uncomfortable. It, I mean, oh, I, sure. that, yeah, I know that they're even making it smaller. Well, they got to shove in as many seats as possible so they can make more money off of it. But I mean, I mean, yeah, it's really you know, okay, I'm I'm the shortest one in this room, but I'm also not short, kind of. you know. And so for me to be on a plane. And be completely uncomfortable sometimes is ridiculous. I mean, I'm all, I'm I'm six foot flat. Okay, I'm not six plus. You know what? Are you you're six, six four. four. He's seven one. He's five I'm, foot twelve inches. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made it to six yet, dark. No, so oh, close. Uh, just why stretch. couldn't I just yeah stretch me out a little bit more? But no, I you know, and for me to sit on a plane for a couple hours and feel like I'm about to just go nuts. I mean, I would much rather be on a bus, and obviously, you can't take a bus to Europe, so you can well, take a I mean, bus you when you're in try. Europe. But if the Chinese have been, we will be soon because <laughs> they tried to build something. Can we the connect? The, can we connect the Bering Strait and Russia again over there? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The one other trip I want to take is a boat from Big Grenada, or New York, all the way to London. Oh wow! See, now I would have no problem. I think trying it that way. Yeah. Now, may have to have a little bit of the, uh, you know, yeah. sickness type pills or whatever. But me. yeah, because um, okay, when we when we took the cruise this summer, there was one day where the direction that the waves were going and the direction we were going yeah. made you rock a little bit worse, and so I was struggling that night. The rest of the time, I was fine. Yeah. So I guess as long as we're going, you know, with the waves and not getting beat up by them, I'll be I'll be okay. So when so we went to Bermuda. My grandfather was stationed there, and so for my parents' 40th anniversary, all of us were supposed to go. But uh, my brother, my brother and his family wound up not going. But the rest of us went. So the only time I had issues was when we were going one direction and I was walking the other. Like that messed with my vertigo and messed with my head. And I think it was just a perception thing. So I think that might have been a little bit what you were dealing well, with. Well, no, no, no. Like I said, I was fine the rest of the time because when it was when it really got me, we were we were inside the ship, so uh, I'm not even looking outside. Oh, I was I was on but, the deck. Was no, 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 deck no. We board. we we were inside because they were they were doing this little show in there, and we were we were watching it, and then I just started, I just started to walk in one direction. Suddenly, I was just like, oh, I gotta hold on to something. So what the heck just happened? I mean, I. I remember my freshman year here, I ended up having um, an imbalance in my left ear and it made me get really dizzy and just plop right down on the ground. And it almost felt like that. Um, so I ended up having to go back to the room. Um, one thing that they suggest, you know, especially if, you know, if you can sit out and look outside, you just pick something out on the horizon that's straight, even if it's a cloud, you know, a mountain off in the distance, a cloud, whatever it is, and you just kind of keep your eyes on that instead of the yeah. you know the up and down and whatever and that helps but um i, I was fine the rest of the time it was it was yeah. just that one night when the waves were going different into the boat and it was making us rock a little differently the only thing that creeped me out the first time i went 
out was to stand there and watch the land disappear. And then there's that nothing was around you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that yeah. creeped me out the first time. After a while, it was like, yeah. See, we, you see we were never that far away yeah. from Alaska, but we were definitely at parts where you couldn't see it. Yeah. You know? we, were, we were really far out there. Well, no, yeah, no, no, but, but, it was great because we left out of Baltimore. So we we're traveling down oh, to Chesapeake. Shoot. I was like, this is great. This yeah. is great. And everything started getting smaller. And all I could hear was Gilligan's Island, the three hour <laughs> tour. And I was like, I'm bringing up clothes for that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I yeah, but, de oh, but definitely when well, you can stand up like on you know one of the top decks there on the boat, you can look that way, you can look that way, that way, all around. I'm like all I see is blue. Yeah, I just see ocean and sky everywhere. I mean, see, that's that's pretty amazing. You were on a big cruise ship. I was yeah. on a yacht at one time, so I mean, there was no space on there. Man. Was, what are you talking much. about? This is just a giant <laughs> yacht. <laughs> yeah, it was, man, it was a little DVD yacht we took into Kickham Genie there, man. Oh, that was pretty. Cool. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And then you, you'd see boat, other boats going by, blah, 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 blah. and then mm -hmm. we used to take this boat, and they said the boat that we used to take, a schooner, I guess they call it, but it was a river boat. And they had that in the ocean with the big waves. But, and the, the, the There's boat a reason rock. why it's called a river Oh, yeah, boat. <laughs> that boat would rock, and you'd look up and you'd see people on the ground. Ah! <laughs> you're like, please don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now really downwind from you. And, 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 and some, um, when it's bad weather, the waves would come through and smash, uh, you have to mm -hmm. hang on. And it was fun, don't get me wrong. I'd rather well, that do that than like, a roller coaster. That sounds like yes. water rafting. Oh, yeah, no, I don't like roller coasters. I don't know if with that, if it's just the. I feel like if I was driving it, making it do all that stuff, I would I have, have the a same blast. Problem. It's a control issue. What? It's yeah. a control issue, and when I hurt my back, most of those things hit like right in the middle of the back. Yeah. And then I had a really bad experience at King's Dominion one time. I got on the Rebel Yell, I think it was, with my brother in the bar, yeah. and come like it came down and looked like it latched. And the person was like, "Okay, this is good." And then it popped up. So I, like, I'm sitting <laughs> in the thing. And we go up the hill and we go down, and my thighs catch the bar, and that's what's holding me in. And I'm just sitting there screaming the entire time. And I was like, I'm going to die. This is how I go out. What? I'm one of those guys that dies on a roller coaster. This is great. What's those movies? The Final Destination. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's my. That's almost how my life ended. Ah! And nobody was there to film it. So that'd been great. I, I'm not doing roller coaster. I think I'd have been. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are man-made. I don't trust no man to make anything for me to see if he ride it that dangerously. <laughs> I, I do still feel like if I was driving it and making it do all that stuff, I would have fun. But yeah, yeah. when I'm just sitting there and this thing's whipping me out, I, no, I don't know. I don't care for it. Call me a control freak. But I don't I've like seen it. some though, like in uh, in like the Swiss Alps and <laughs> stuff like that. How they have it, it's not an amusement park, but it comes on the side of a mountain and it goes down. The way. But it's not like woo, -woo none of that. It just goes down. And you and you're coming down into the city, and it takes you right into the city. I mean, it's like a little train type. Yeah. Thing, so it's not like a crazy oh, ride. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, they have some that that is like up in the mountains, and you, you go around corners and stuff, and it's just like beautiful. I see. Do those. See, there was one. Uh, they're called Alpine slides. It's one way that a lot of ski resorts, especially in the Rockies, will make money in the summer. And basically, you're just you're sitting on a sled going down on a cement rain gutter, for like two-thirds of a mile going down the mountain. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, you're sitting there, you just push the lever forward to go faster and just yeah. zip around. I love fun. those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're a blast. Yeah. They're a blast. Absolutely love them, man. I'm going down there feeling like a Jamaican. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the bob sled. Hey, Senka. You <laughs> dead, man. <laughs> no, man. I'm not dead. I have to finish the race. <laughs> that, you I know, love that movie. <laughs> and that's the thing about... about there's so many cool things in this world we could be doing instead yeah. of arguing all the time. You know what I mean? All this stuff yeah. that I, I would. So, where is it? I think it's in uh, Brazil. You could slingshot the zip line. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Zip lines yeah. Are awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there are places that have zip lines across cities. Yeah, and you're way up above, just getting this aerial yeah. view of the city, just riding down. And they also have zip lines above a uh, rain. Forest, oh yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah, I want to do that. that. Oh yeah. yeah. You know that kind of stuff there. You know. Yeah. That's fun. Which is really funny because I'll do that, but bungee jumping or skydiving? No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. That, no. That's just going down. Black. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
I could be tempted into trying skydiving. My brother did it. He said it was a blast. Huh? My brother did it. He said it was a blast. One of my relatives, I think, my mom would have to tell me on this if I I don't remember if I don't remember correctly, but I think she's like a like a professional, as in she takes people out. Yeah. And does sky, you know, goes goes skydiving, and so I mean that's. I think the scary thing (laughs) is if I liked it. I think that's what terrifies me more. Is because I would want to do it more. No, it's like. In my head, that adds up to there's more chances of me actually going. Yeah, 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 you know? <clears throat> and eating it. I'm like, I would rather swim with sharks than skydive. <laughs> I never swum with sharks, but we used to catch them in South Carolina. You tried to chase died. after that one in the Keys. Uh, you true. don't remember that? I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm with them. <laughs> yeah, he I, swam I, Well, I am a, I'm an idiot, so. I'll tell you what. When you, went to, when you guys went to Florida, you swam in the ocean? Yeah. You swam with sharks. Oh, uh, hey. Bucket list check. You, you, just, you just didn't know. And no. I tell you how. No, he knew. He chased after well, that. Well, apparently, I chased, one. I, the only thing I remember is chasing after that big giant sea turtle. No, you tried chasing after I, the little shark. I too. got close to that sea turtle too. Yeah. Oh, it, was a, it was a small one, and I'm sorry, Tony. Yeah. You, you're not gonna you're not gonna chase down a small one. That sucker's gonna swim away from you. It was the biggest one I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. I had this. I got an A for effort. Adam and I are going. Is he nuts? <laughs> yes. 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 I had this post that I was from New York. And they used to go to Florida every summer to to visit family and stuff. And he had he knew this friend who had a plane, and one of those little planes. And the, the friend says, "Hey, let me take you to show you something." And he took him up and flew oh, over gosh. over by the like over the, the coastline. Over the, and stuff. He, he flew over the air, the beach that they swim in, mm-hmm. and sharks are just swimming around people there. They're not even messing with them. Yeah. So if you swam in in Florida, you swam in the ocean, you swam with sharks. You just didn't know they were there. Just waiting for one of you to bleed. Well, I was in Miami, apparently. Gators are, are uh, <laughs> they're more scary than sharks. Oh, yeah. Know. I don't mess with them. <laughs> no, they'll mess with you, and you won't see them coming. Apparently. You know what I mean? No. We, so my we buddy's went. house, they have like this river inlet yeah. we're right behind their house. And they're like, yeah, don't go over there because you might wow. mess up on the wrong day. Well, they, gator well, back there. well even in South Carolina, because I remember my grandparents used to live by a big lake down there. I think it was Lake Santee. We used to be able to go to the dock that was right by their house all the time and go fishing. And I remember one time my sister and I went down there one summer and, and we said, hey, so you know, when are we going to get to go to the dock? And Grandpa goes, we can't do that anymore. So why not? He goes, oh, we got gators now. Ooh. He goes, they're everywhere. And Those I, things are mean, too. Yeah. And, oh, well, I want to know why all of a sudden they're there. People flush my, down. Yeah, well, migrate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if you're migrating around, maybe, you know, one you're at one place now, a whole bunch of stuff gets built. So, you know, they're swimming off somewhere else. Oh, somebody in the hallway is screaming out there. I hope everything's all right. I, the doors. I, I, <laughs> but, I, you know, I mean, I mean I'm, sure pe- I'm sure people make a move because yeah. where they were living by the lake, there weren't a whole bunch of houses there. So it's yeah. not like it suddenly moved into a really developed area, Yeah, you know, if, if they came over. So, um but I remember when, when we were in Miami last weekend down to play FIU, they have got they had this trail right outside of our hotel. So Manny and I, we were going to go for a run, and it's right next to this little waterway. Like my, Miami and Florida, they all have waterways everywhere yeah. next to all these roads. I think it helps with a lot of drainage and stuff. But I will tell you this. They keep them pretty clean. This waterway down there, I mean, we hardly saw any garbage along this thing. So they definitely keep it clean. How do you get to <laughs> Garbage disposal, do what you want. But, you know, as we're jogging along, I kind of keep looking. I was like, I wonder if I'm going to see, like, two eyes, you know, popping out looking at us or something. Because I met, well, our pitching coach uh, coached in Florida for four years before she came up here. And so she was telling Maddie about gators and stuff like that. And Maddie said, are, are gators are slow, aren't you? And Maddie goes, no, no, they're not. She goes, you got to make sure to run zigzag. You know, just run zigzag. And so as we're out there running, and I told Maddie I was looking for gators, and I, I said, remember, just make a good hard cut and get away from her. She goes, I'm just going to jump over. And I said, those things can rise up pretty good. And she goes, well, looks like you're running back on your own then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When but I was no, like, no, we, we didn't see any, though. We didn't when see I was any, trying so. to move to Florida, uh, like two or three years ago, I was thinking I'm going to move there. I was trying to move as close to the ocean as I can because <laughs> they're, no, they're, no, they're not there as prevalently. No, 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 no. We don't have nothing like that on the island. We don't have no gators or crocodiles or nothing like that. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, g- no. gators. Gators can be pretty nasty. We we went down when my when my grandparents were living in Ocala, Florida. We went down there once, and we went out to the golf course. And as we're just driving towards 
through part of the uh, course to get up to the driving range, by one of the by one of the water hazards, there's a gator just sunning itself on the bank, and there's people just walking around just playing golf like it's nothing. And my dad and her go, wait, wait a minute, there's a gator over here, and you all are just playing. And Grandpa goes, oh yeah, he's just sunning himself. It's all right. Mm-hmm. So he goes, yeah, if you just hit your golf ball near him, you just do a drop. I'm like, okay, I'm playing here. I'll take a stroke penalty. <laughs> you know, start from there. No, thank you. Man. But yeah, I mean, they were just going around like it was nothing. And this sucker looked like he was probably at least your height laying down. Crocodiles are a lot more uh, vicious than gators, though. Well, I haven't come across a crocodile, so yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, my buddy, uh, my buddy uh, from Zambia would tell me about them crocs there. They quick. <laughs> 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 Hey, that's the thing that gets everybody. But he's like, "Oh, they're quick in water." No, they're quick on land too. You know, I have, a, I have, a, I have an Yeah, idea they don't tell you. They, legs they don't tell you to run zigzag in the water. <laughs> I have a really good idea for a scary movie, though. Oh, yeah. Crop needle. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> We're gonna patent it so you all can't do it. <laughs> yeah, hurricane or something. Croc. Already done the, the NATO thing. Croc hurricane. Crocane. 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 <laughs> Filmed in Western notes. Crocane, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the sci fi channel will pick that up in a minute. We've said it out loud. Somebody's already worked on the script. Oh, yeah. We've yeah, been yeah. scooped. You know, those Hollywood people. Uh, yeah, yeah, Did you say Hollywood? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we take it. Mm-hmm. It's a good idea. We ain't going to let the rude boys get this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep the poor poor. I'm going to patent it while they're still on air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call up the people in Washington, lobby to get the, the copyright set up. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird suddenly, like this coming like this coming fall, we see a commercial like, coming up soon on sci-fi, croc cane. We're like, oh, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> And then by, where's and my royalty check? Come yeah. on. You know I mean? and, then, and then when you watch it, you go, I can tell you did that last month. Come on, man. Just, uh, but wait, see, here's all the special effects are so bad. I'm like, he came up with the idea. I just named it. I, I get a little residual. <laughs> and we can see you already copywritten it because we said it out loud on air. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Copywritten. No, no, copy we'll, we'll just go full American and sue him. <laughs> the American way. The other yeah. American way. We made the main American way. It doesn't matter. That's well, you guys have money here to be sued for. Where I'm from, what are you going to sue them for? I have money. I, have <laughs> I, have I mean, money they might have money. For? I don't have any money. Sure, sure, no. I mean, if you're suing me, you're getting student debt, and that's about it. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. I'll sue please, you. please sue me. You can have some of my student debt. <laughs> I'll sue you for some coconuts. <laughs> that's all we're going to do. That'll be good you're, coconuts. If you're hungry or thirsty, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, you got a lot of electrolytes in coconut water. So. There you <laughs> so go. You, so you're going to be at least healthy. Ah, I feel better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. That, that's another topic I always sit and think of. It's like, there's all these, ideas, all these ideas out there, all these other ideas <laughs> out there that Hollywood don't pick up on. Not croquet, but just yeah, other yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Well, there's, uh, there's even a whole lot of true stories and stuff that you yeah. can make and instead oh no we're gonna make something something too or we're just gonna remake this that yeah. movie's 30 years old we gotta redo it it's all driven by money yeah. that's the big thing and that's why people like they get mad when they're like i don't know nowadays they get mad when somebody they're like that person's not this like they should have a person that that's actually this like that person's paralyzed they should have a paralyzed person i'm like no brad pitt in a wheelchair pulls more money than a no-name actor who's actually paralyzed. And that's yeah. what people don't realize. It's yeah. like, they get paid top billing because they pull in money because people go see a Brad Pitt movie. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm if you're making it straight man. to TV, you could probably still make your money back if you yeah. had a no-name actor. But yeah. it's like... Don't shoot me, but it seems like Brad Pitt's acting went this way over the years. It was always here. We just thought... <laughs> <laughs> well, he looked so good, it was up here. And then well, it's like. Saying, and the thing about it is, when he first started, like, I remember he was in a movie with Robert Redford. You know, he did a really good acting job in that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That was when he first came out. Wasn't he in, like, Thelma and Louise? Too? Yeah, he was the guy that stole all the money from him. Yeah, yeah I mean, but, you know. <laughs> He's then, much better then, with movies than I am. But then, the looks take over. And it's just like, I ain't got to act no more. You know what I mean? Interview with the Vampire was good. Yeah. Interview with the Vampire was good. Yeah, it was. I, I, it was I, I, I wasn't so bad either. I no. did not like that movie. Really? 
You're not like that. Why are we friends? <laughs> <laughs> because I'll eat pineapple on my pizza. That's, all right, sorry, yes. Anthony. <laughs> yes. We, had, we it was so funny. We had this little <clears throat> argument last night or whatever. So we're talking about what do we want to get on a pizza, and Anthony said, "I'm good with anything except for pineapple." <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Oh, this is why I haven't been back here in a while. Yeah. What's wrong with a tropical pizza? Huh? What's wrong with a tropical pizza? Well, no, it, it breaks down. It's the same thing. It's like I don't like mushrooms. It's a texture thing. If I get yeah. a mushroom in a casserole, I'll start gagging. Yeah. It's like I can't stand the texture. And for him, he's like, I just hate pineapple. I was like, well, that makes sense. I love mushrooms. Love my and I love pineapple. I love, Me too. I love yeah. mushroom flavor. If it's cream of yeah. mushroom soup and something, yeah. I'm in. But oh, yeah. you know, you know, I tell you what's funny though. I love bananas. I don't like the texture of it. That's why I, I, that's why I have uh, banana smoothies. Uh, but banana I've smoothies. noticed something lately, though. The reason why I, I don't like the texture of bananas here because they pick them green and they ripe on the way. But when I go home and I pick a banana from a tree, mm -hmm. oh man! Well, you can wait till it's perfect, then. Yeah, you know what I mean. I pick that. Oh, it just melts in your mouth like ice cream. Mm. Mm. I know one of us came here and saw my um, ex <laughs> eating a banana, and she's like, "It's green," and she's like, mm -hmm. I was like man. You gotta be kidding me. You know what we do with green bananas? We boil them like a vegetable. <laughs> green bananas do something bad to my stomach, man. I was, yeah, well that because you eat it raw. If you cook yeah. it, if you cook it. Oh, well yeah. no, even even if I even if I get it when there's still just a little bit of green yeah. left on it. You know, I'm not talking about taking a thing green yeah. straight, you know, like that. I mean, even like it feels. It seems like for me, if I'm gonna eat a banana, I gotta wait till the whole thing is yellow. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, yeah, me too. Even just no, a I little a, bit of green left. I had on a that green banana on. once, and it's like the whole outside was green, and I was like, I was hungry, and that's all oh. that was in the house, and I was like, I ate, and it snapped like a celery stick, and I'm like, this is just wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean. You <laughs> I was like, put no. some salt on that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> no, I think I took two bites. So I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I poisoned myself. <laughs> my my mom always liked them a little green, so she'd buy this big bunch of bananas. She'd eat like. One while it's green, and then look at me and my dad and go, All right, you guys finished, they're yellow now. I'm like, What? We were always told to eat green bananas, too green, or all like that. It would mess your stomach up, it messed mine up, even if I have just a little bit left. So we used to wait until it's nice and golden yellow on that tree, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you guys gonna have a, a field day. Eat did did you, you did you eat any of the plums that were on that plum tree in Ben's backyard? I remember, probably because I remember, I remember Zach and I just caught it, made ourselves sick. Because we ate so many. They were so good, though. I don't think I ate that many. I think I had oh. one, and they were pretty good. Dude, I ate like 10. I know. You guys oh went to my. town. That's probably oh. why I only got one. This only one that was left. <laughs> Zach and I were just like, oh, there's a hole. Oh, no, heck, oh, oh, boy, they looked like one. a little angry beaver, dude. They're like, <laughs> next one. Oh, man, they were so good. We. It was so funny because this tree had just been in their backyard for a while. Oh, what kind of tree is this? Like. It's got some fruit growing on it. I picked one. I was like, I think that's a plum. But no, it can't be. And I took a bite. I was like, dude, that's a plum. And I just can't. So be wait a minute. He had that tree back there. He didn't know what it was. Well, they they had also just moved there. Oh, they they weren't oh, in that house okay. that long. So that tree was there before they moved oh, okay. in. Okay, that was a house in Lakeside. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. But I that that may have been the only time we actually got to see it really bloom and have fruit. You know. So I Zach and I was like, oh my. Gosh, just kept eating, just grabbing more plums, and just eating them right up. Oh gosh, I, I I think I was sick for about two days, but man, it was worth it. Those were so good. Yeah, some things you eat when you get sick, and it's worth it. Man, those plums were those were good. I just, man, and and this that that's why I say I miss those farmers markets, man. You know, all those farmers markets back home in Virginia. It's it's about two minutes till ten. Yeah, but all those farmers markets back in Virginia. I mean, we were talking about it yesterday. It seems like. Within about a thirty-minute radius of where oh, we're man. from, yeah. there's about a dozen of them at least. That's because there's like how there's like dozens or multiple dozens of like random farms just out of nowhere. And oh yeah, like, I mean, I mean, there's there's some there's some roads that you can take off down, like Middle Road, Route Fifty Five, something like that. You'll come around to Bend, and suddenly oh, there's a little farmers market right there. You can pop in there and get a bunch of apples. I mean, some of them won't have much. You know, they'll have right. obviously whatever they're growing, and then you'll go to others and you'll walk in and go. Oh my, what do I want? <laughs> you know, and that's that's where I got those peaches last summer. Yeah. Remember when I brought those back? Oh, those were so good. As soon as I felt them and they were and they were I could tell they were, you know, hard and been frozen. Yeah. I'm like, these are gonna make it back to Huntington and they are gonna be so good. Uh, See, we don't have farmers market, we have the market square. <laughs> and you go into the market square, dude, and you got everything in there, every fruit, every vegetable. You could 
Pretty Mountain. Well, there's you supposedly get... that one that they do down here in the summer on Saturdays mm -hmm. at Pullman Square. I've, I've never been to it. I'm going to have to try that this summer, though. You could even get possum meat. In the, uh, we call it mighty cool meat in the farmer's market. I'm sure they probably have that here somewhere. They probably name it something else. <laughs> It's squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Oh, are you sure? It's not any better. <laughs> uh, I did eat mighty cool. I, mean, I did eat possum once. My dad tricked me into it. I didn't know what I was eating. That's an ugly beast, man. I'm sorry. You know, it's that catfish. You know, I'm not eating catfish. Oh, I love catfish. Well, my experience the first time I saw somebody cook fat catfish was the last experience I had. <laughs> I tried it once, but I tried it at a restaurant, so I know that's not the real cooking. But when I first came to America, I went to the mountains of Kentucky, boy, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. uh, I was on the basketball team, and this guy came, look, we're going to show you how we eat here up in Appalachia. Took me up there, took the big ugly thing out of a bucket and beat it over the head and then cleaned it. I was like, I'm not eating anything you beat to death. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You ain't clubbing nothing and feeding it to me. <laughs> you know, see, even, even though I can't really eat shellfish, I still feel like if I went down to Grenada with you, I would have to try just a little bit. Yeah. Just to see, because I do remember the one time when you made shrimp pasta, I was fine. Yeah. I had a lot of it. Oh, yeah. It, it was so it. good. <laughs> And then another time I have shrimp and I'm going, oh my God, it's about to be the scene from Aliens. This thing's just going to rip right out of my stomach. They or space balls. Or space balls. I'm going to look at it and go, oh no, not again. Mm -hmm. But, you shrimp know. Me <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shrimp cane doesn't yeah, sound yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp food. <laughs> Delicious. There we go. Be on the cooking channel. <laughs> you know, you know, like, I, I wouldn't be shrimp flying through the air. When you eat the shrimp, oh, 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 oh,
And so then the Saturday after that will be senior weekend. Hopefully I'll be far enough along with the highlight video that it won't be a pressing matter. Yeah. That I, you know, because look, I, I already know I'm caught up on cutting highlights because I've, I've been doing them all year because Coach Smith every week wants another, you know, a little hype video for the team. So it's highlights from the week before. So I've got, already got all that stuff cut. It's just a matter of then starting to put things together how I want to do it for, you know, the end of the year highlight video. So hopefully I can get a, I can get an early start on some of that stuff. So that way I'm not sitting there Saturday night going well into Sunday going, I got to get this done. So, because then I just end up a total zombie on Sundays, and then I sleep for 18 hours. But, so, May 4th, May 4th, may the 4th be with you. Um, oh. Sorry, I had to do that. My mom's birthday will be the day before that. Oh, cool. Third. So, are we going to do a happy birthday show to your mom? We can do that. <laughs> there we go. And Ben's birthday will be the day before that, May 2nd. Oh, a double birthday, birthday show. Birthday. Yeah, that is Ben's birthday, because I always remember... Ben's birthday was the day before my mom's, and Zach's birthday was the day after mine. Yep. Am I a bad friend that I never knew when Zach's birthday was? I did. That's the hey. That's the only way no, I would remember it. Sorry, I'm Zach. Sure I didn't know when my birthday was. <laughs> Dude, seriously, he had people tell him two different days. Three, Wasn't it two, oh, three different yeah. days. There the we eighth, go. The eighth, the tenth, or the twelfth. <laughs> that means you get to pick one. <laughs> Did you compromise and go with the tenth? That's the one in the middle. No, I had to go with the eighth because that's what my birth certificate says. I did. My mom told me the twelfth. My whole life, I celebrated my twelfth on the twelfth, and then my sister keeps sending me happy birthday on the eighth, and I was like. Well, how come you know when it is and the mom is the one that has yeah. you know what's going on here? You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> but yeah, so it, my birth certificate now say the eighth after seeing the tenth and the twelfth before, so I'm going with the eighth now. There we go. All right. I'm four days older than I thought. Anyway, All yeah. right, we're going to get back into the music. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in, whether it's been here on 88.1 WMUL FM, Cutting Edge of Your Radio Dial, right here on the campus of Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia. Got to get in, that in real quick for legal purposes. And then also whether you've been tuning in here on Facebook Live as well. You know, had a lot uh, more know, comments. Yeah, we you had know, a lot more comments. We didn't move the bus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ben is on here. Hey, Ben, what's up? I thought there was nothing James else James Merritt is on oh, there. Man. Oh, wow. A lot of comments there. We didn't Sorry move about the that, bus. Folks. Sorry about my, that, folks. My fault. My look, fault. look, everybody was putting <laughs> their stuff to say what they would do, and we didn't. Hey. Reality is on here. What up, reality? I'm sorry, guys. I, you know, I'm supposed to be the technical <laughs> oh, person on the show. Amanda Beach is on here. Hey, Amanda. Uh, your mom put up a lot of stuff on there. I'm sorry. Hey, Moes, how are you on, my brother? I see I'm you on sorry. there and think and think. Sorry, we didn't. We, hey, we promised we're going to do a better job next time. Maybe we should get one of the allergies, uh, man. I'm telling you, they knock you for a loop. Maybe we should get an into and one of the kids back. To the <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure that thing scrolls. Yeah, what are you yeah. Doing? But you know, I name all the people I saw on there. Sorry, guys, we didn't get you know, get on there. We didn't see that. You know what I mean? I don't have all my glasses, okay, and I wear my vocals. Put your glasses on. I don't think you'd oh, be able man. to see that. Come on, no. <laughs> what could be excuse? <laughs> what hey, excuse? I'm wearing my glasses and I can barely see that. What are you talking about? But I did see from my glasses on. You know, I didn't take off my glasses so I don't see it. I really don't like wearing glasses. I don't either, but the way my allergies have been, yeah. I, I somehow got away with wearing my contacts today. Yeah. The game. I got away with that one and my eyes weren't itching and burning too badly. So. Yeah. Well, all right, well, let's let's get back. Let's get back to the music. We're, we're only going to be on yeah. here for about another 50 minutes anyway. Yeah, so, all right. Anyway. I, I'm tuning on the phone. At this time, we're going to scroll and get your comments, okay? I promise. So on back. I promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry, me. I won't be here. All right, all right well, well hey, check this out. I'm uh, going to have to hit. Blame him. He's a rude boy now, too. So. <laughs> well, sorry, folks, on the live stream. I'm going to have to hit stop before we start the music. But if you are interested in what's coming up next music-wise, I've got Tech Nine featuring Jordan Omley, and it's called "We Won't Go Quietly." But since we we don't want to get in any trouble with you know the trade marketing and all that sort of stuff, I'm gonna hit stop on the live video before we hit the music. So sorry, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Mofro for coming in as <laughs> yeah. well. So we'll see you all later. All right. So <clears throat> live stream is done. Let me make